no model city. This is, we will be the model city. But there are examples of communities, of communities. That's, that's what I was asking, right. not exactly model. And, but see, this is, but the difference is significant and it's a difference that is advantageous to us, right? Because all of these good developments that have happened in places like Houston, Texas, you know, that are happening in the Collinwood area or Tremont area, though they're not black, well, Collinwood is majority black right now, um, but Tremont is, you know, uh, where art and culture have been used as a tool for economic development, is all of those areas were just neighborhoods. They didn't have their own city council. They didn't have their own police force, their own library system, their own school district. They didn't have the same capacity that we would have to facilitate that growth without getting approval from people who weren't directly affected by it. You know, so, whereas if you want to do something in Third Ward, Houston, Texas, you might have to get the entire city council to agree, you know, and that involves people who are outside of that community, who have competing interests of their own. Now, in East Cleveland, that dynamic doesn't exist. Our whole city is smaller than Third Ward, th third, uh, Ward in Houston, Texas, much, much, much smaller, both in population and in actual land mass. So we are so, we're small. Also, with our independent school district, we have a capacity to have the, the vision that we have for the city, if it is embraced by the people. We have, a, we have a capacity to work with the school district and the library system to get on the same page towards this single strategic vision and to have it being reinforced and complemented by those various institutions. And we also have, not just that, we have the clergy and other people who have served in public uh, office, people who've served in community development capacities elsewhere and others, in, in other cities, in fact, who are now residents of East Cleveland. So we have human capital that's, you know, that's unmatched really in any similarly situated black community. You know, and then we have actual power of government that is really unmatched in other black communities, and especially of this size. So those things will facilitate um, moving the process forward in ways that the people who are in Third Ward, Houston, Texas, or people who are in the south side of Chicago, you know, they would really love to have. They would die to have the situation that we have with respect to, you know, local, local self-governance.